Hello everyone, I am Stephanie, an artist living in Van, France, and in today's video I'm going to do something a little different from usually. Usually I've been showing you finished artworks and a time lapse of the process of said artwork. But lately I've been working on bigger artworks, bigger drawings or paintings, bigger sculptures or not necessarily bigger but just longer to make. Which means I cannot do a video a week or it's very complicated to just keep all the video footage over weeks, even months, um, years actually, if you look at the last video. And to keep all that footage until I have finished the artwork and can finally edit it into uh, yeah a video for YouTube. So that's been, um, I think, not the most efficient way. So now what I thought, I just thought about it today. Um, what I'm going to show you today is just a part of a bigger painting I'm working on. And so I don't have the pressure to finish it in just a week, uh, which would not be possible anyway. But um, yeah, and just I'm going to show you the progress and it might take months for it to finish. And probably at the end, once I have finished the painting, I might review a video um, that just shows the entire uh, process of said artwork. So I hope I'm clear here. Um, I'm also, so that's the first thing that is different from other videos. And the second thing, and you might not realize it because um, I don't do a very hard script, but usually I script my videos just so I know where I'm going and what I'm going to talk about. Um, and today I am not. <laughs> which I might regret later on. Uh, but yeah, I am not, uh, I'm not scripting. Uh, I haven't scripted anything. I haven't written what I'm going to say in this video. So I'm just like free flowing, so to speak. But I thought about what I'm going to talk about. So, you know, I'm not completely spontaneous here, I suppose. So what I would like to talk about today while you see me working. So just a note on what I'm doing. Um, so I am working, currently working on a small bird, um, which is called a uh, red-eared firetail. And um, and the general idea of this painting or this illustration, I, I never really know how to call these, but the general idea of this painting is to juxtapose birds and singing insects, so I'm thinking cicadas, to uh, music devices uh, that I personally used to over the last decades. Uh, namely uh, now my smartphone to listen to music. Uh, but before that I had an mp3 player, before that I had a CD player and before that I had a Walkman. So I want to uh, do a painting about all, this, all these music devices and juxtapose them to natural music, so to speak. So birds singing, but also cicadas and so on. So uh, as usual, it's really about the impact of our own activities, all the objects we have on the environment. Um, but again, in a very cheerful way where basically um, nature's, uh, nature's thriving again and um, the devices are just hanging in a tree in branches. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that painting, to be honest. I find birds to be very enjoyable to work on. And I'm most likely going to work on more birds in the future. Um, they're easy, kind of. I think they're quite easy to do, but they're very fun and colorful. In a way, they remind me a bit of insects as, um, yeah, they just, you know, they come in many, many colors, unlike mammals. And, um, and they're all so cute. <laughs> At least I find insects cute. So yeah, be with me. Um, so yeah, so that's just about it. I am using right now, you can see me still um, drawing with ink. So I'm using a dip pen and I have no clue what nib I'm using. I've bought nibs here and there. I have some that I've had for years. So yeah, I don't really know which nibs I'm using. To be honest, I have, I think, four, five, six different ones, I don't even recall, that I use w depending on the paper, because sometimes the paper is very smooth and so certain nibs work better, sometimes it's very absorbent or rougher, 
and so that needs and then I need another nib so um, it's it's kind of hard to explain you kind of have to try it if that makes sense and the ink I'm using it's the same ink I always use it's a waterproof ink from Rohrer und Klingner which um, they do a lot of different waterproof inks but specifically the one I'm using is the Indian ink and this one is made waterproof with the addition of shellac which is uh, plastic free. Uh, that's why I prefer that ink. It's a great ink for dip pens however it's not a great ink if you want to put it in fountain pens as it's going to clog your fountain pen um, quickly. Also I've read and I've tried it once and yeah I, uh, <laughs> I chickened out so uh, I, in any case I prefer using dip pens I find it easier to work with um, and to clean especially clean I, I think I'm just very lazy when it comes to cleaning so I just prefer using a dip pen than anything else although I might add I actually cleaned all my uh, Rotring uh, technical pens that I had from my architectural studies studies so I still had a few and one from my mom so I cleaned them all and I ordered a specific ink for those so I might get to use those I'm not sure honestly I had those anyway and I'm th I thought why not try again you know uh, I probably have seen too much videos from Peter Draws and he loves rotring and since I have those at home I might as well give them a try again yeah so so much <laughs> so much for that painting so we're already halfway through the video and I haven't touched on what I was originally planning to talk about this is also why I don't really like to do very specific themes in videos. You know, I feel like that's probably the way to go on YouTube um, is to give advice th uh, through videos. You know, you, t you pick a theme, something that is uh, critical for an artist and then you talk about it. But honestly and frankly, um, most of the advice is pretty obvious and um, you you're going to see why I'm saying that in a second. Because I've been watching or have watched one video about, I think he's Nathaniel Drew, do you? I don't remember. Um, and um, But you might have seen it. It's um, basically that guy tried Picasso's daily routine. And honestly, every time I see that type of videos, I think it's kind of... I don't know, a loss of time to do that because you're forcing yourself into a routine that isn't yours and a routine is really just something you naturally end up with. Sometimes it's even informed by exterior parameters. If we're going back to Picasso, he was uh, living in Spain and so um, his schedule is very Spanish so to speak so it's he gets up very late and goes to bed very late as many people in Spain do I don't know if you've ever been to Spain but they eat um, much later than in other countries um, in European countries and um, and so it does make sense that he would live that way but in any case so that guy Nathaniel he really wanted to try it and so he tried it but it, it was just completely not how he usually lives and works and I feel like a routine is just that you know you kind of find a way to work every day to get uh, your work done um, but it's not really something you think much about um, so uh, yeah I, I, I don't I don't really get it um, in any case I left a message a comment on his video uh, because he was like wondering um, because Picasso was basically working every day on his art and he was I don't know questioning that and it was like I wanted to comment as an artist because I do tend to do art every day but it's because it's fun <laughs> and so I basically said that you know just art is so fun we want to do it every day and uh, I, I got a loads loads of replies to that um, some insulting because it's YouTube <laughs> what can you expect and the, and some like concerns 
And I understand the concern, uh, but uh, yeah, the concern was basically, oh, uh, working every day can be dangerous, you can uh, get a burnout or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, sure, but that wasn't the point. <laughs> it really was about art being fun and you just want to do art every day. So obviously, if you see it as a work, you want to work on your art every day just because that's how it, it works. You don't get inspiration that falls onto you magically but at the same time um it, it still needs to be fun it's like it's not about forcing yourself to do art if you really don't want to it's more um it's a bit of forcing but you have to listen to yourself to know um when you're tired basically but i feel like burnout is another question altogether and i personally was very close to a burnout a few years ago and working doing art every day actually helped me out of the burnout so um if you're feeling exhausted and it's too much and things like that then take a break but i feel like this is something that you need to learn you need to learn to listen to yourself and what works best for you but working every day on your art is something that i find important as an artist for your own well-being it's like um, doing art every day is actually really fun. That doesn't mean you don't have, you should take holidays. And I think also you should force yourself sometimes not to do any art, even in holidays, like take two weeks of breaks, not touching anything, any sketchbooks, because that can be very good and very refreshing. And, um, and you're going to um, yeah, resource yourself creatively as well and then you, when you finally can get back to your art studio or to your sketchbook you're going to be extremely inspired. So yeah, um, those exercises are good. But in general, and those daily rituals are really about like the normal work day. Um, yeah, do art every day. That's like, <laughs> it's just like, there's, there's not much more to say about that. That's also why I don't um, again, I feel like doing these kind of art advices, they're so obvious. Um, and I'm sure you've seen plenty of them on YouTube. And every time I see them, I'm like, yeah, I mean, I knew that. <laughs> not super, not super useful. Um, so yeah, what can I say? Art advice uh, usually is pretty self-explanatory. Life advice in general, um, yeah, I'm not really... I feel like all these life coaches, they, they don't really do much. It's it's really common sense. You have to listen to yourself, uh, know your own boundaries, um, listen to yourself <laughs> and find a rhythm that works for you as well in life and work and um, everything else in between. You know, some people are able to sleep five hours a day and they're good to go. And some people it's nine hours. So yeah, I think we are approaching, uh, or I see we're approaching the end of this video. So I do hope you enjoyed this more, at least for me, more relaxed way of doing a video, more chill and more rambly as well. And uh, yeah, just a glimpse at what I'm working on right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!